Allah. Okay, Sheikh, the next point of Aqeedah with regards to our hearts is looking at some of the aspects of the unseen. So when we are taught about the mizan, the scale, um, how does our belief in the scale increase our iman or purify our hearts? Uh, we believe that the scale is a real scale, a scale. It's a physical scale. And if the heavens and the earth are put on one side of it, it would be sufficient for it. Because this is what the Prophet ﷺ said. So it's a, a mighty, humongous creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the Day of Judgment, the deeds and the people and their actions will be weighed on the scale. Good deeds versus bad deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most high. Things are not just done for no reason. So this is a very serious, you imagine yourself. Anytime we talk about the hereafter as a way to purify our souls, this is something that should be in our hearts with certainty. Something that is coming ahead. So try to picture, you know, how things will be when a person is standing and his deeds are being put on the mizan, on the balance of the deeds. Allah. How would that heart of that person be? You know, one hasana can be sufficient for the person to enter Jannah. One bad deed that would outweighs the good deeds can be the reason for the person to be thrown into the hellfire. So what kind of heart that would be when the person is witnessing this? Right, and how much regret would have been, you know a person would have looking back at this world when wasted so much of his time of his life without being obedient to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and the sins he sees it in front of his eyes being put on the balance of his deeds and so this is a very serious method and this is what we need to take ourselves from this materialistic life to get into the hereafter to see what's good and what's bad and what takes the person to Jannah and what's not and then we come back with this in this life to do something now before it's too late. And this is basically what purifies the soul. So the relationship between the belief, you know, and the actual actions that we have in purification of the soul. Not like some of these people that deviated from the truth and they say, there's not really any mizan or any balance, it's just a metaphorical meaning of, this is all corruption. Okay. And that's why we need to have the submission to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to us. And the issue of the